Hi folks, this is David Fine. Welcome to Keys Mods. This is our series where we're going through the mods of the Florida Keys. And today we are going to be going over a incredibly rare beauty that I've only found twice in the Florida Keys. It is Eumorpha vitis, the vine sphinx. Uh, guys, super rare bug. Uh, we don't know a whole lot about it, but we'll tell you what we do know. So stay tuned. All right, guys, Eumorpha vitis, the vine sphinx, is a tough one, guys. It's a tough bug to find. We've only found two in since literally since the year 2000 when I started going down to the Keys. Both were found on the island of Key Largo and both of which in the month of May. And so they feed on Vitus, Sissus, and Ludwigia. And guys, very, very, very tough bug to find. I've got a couple images down here, which I'm kind of just scrolling through of the Vine Sphinx. Uh, but guys, I wanted to show you not just an image on my computer, but here is one of the specimens that we have. And I wanted to show it to you in relation to some of the other species that it's related to. It's, we've got the Pandora Sphinx, which does not live in the Keys. I don't know why it feeds on grapes. It should live in the Keys, but we ne I've never seen a Pandora down here in South Florida in 40 years. Uh, looks fairly similar to the Pandora, but Pandora lacks those lines, right? We've got the Ackerman Sphinx, again, feeds on grapes, but probably not going to confuse the Ackerman with our Vitus, Eumorpha Vitus species. Probably the most that you would confuse it with is this um, Banded Sphinx, Eumorpha fasciatus. Uh, this one is way more common, and as you can see, it's got this bright pink uh, banding here on the hind wing, and that's probably the best way to tell them apart. Uh, but it's got that real heavily, heavy cream colored band across the forewing. But other than that, guys, they look pretty similar. I mean, we have Eumorpha labresca, the gaudy sphinx, but nobody's confusing that one with the vine sphinx. Now, uh, guys, they live in Texas. They live in the Caribbean. They live in Central and South America. Uh, but they're very, 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 very rare in the state of Florida. In fact, uh, I've never found a caterpillar. This is one sphinx moth in Florida that I have not raised. I've never seen a caterpillar, and I sure would love to. But look at the look at the markings on this thing, guys. It's an absolute stunning, stunning creature. And I just wanted to show you guys up close and personal what Eumorpha vitis, the vine sphinx, looks like. In fact, let me show you the underside. Sometimes it can help to see the underside. This has just got a pretty drab underside, so little pink dots there. But that's pretty much it. Month of May seems to be the month where we found them in flight. Uh, so guys, be on the lookout for the Vine Sphinx. So I, I actually remember the the one the the one Vine Sphinx that I remember seeing at my light sheet uh, in Key Largo. I'll never forget when it hit the light sheet, man. It was uh, probably like 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning, and it hit the light sheet. And at first, I kind of thought it was a Eumorpha fasciata, a banded sphinx. But upon further notice, you it, you, you can tell. There's a little bit different. Uh, they're, they're a little bit thicker, a little bit bigger. And it's, you, can just, you just know it's that special moth when it hits the sheet. And boy, oh boy, it was a special thing to see. Uh, Two or three, three o'clock in the morning. So I would suggest if you're going to put lights out, stay out late or <laughs> put some lights out that can be out for uh, for late hours of the evening because that's when a lot of our sphinged species come to action. But that's, I mean, that's really, we don't know a whole lot more about this species. Unfortunately, I do not have any photographs of the caterpillar. I would love to find some. So if anybody ever comes across any caterpillars of the Vine Sphinx, please, please send me an email or call me because I would love to document this life cycle. It's one Sphinx moth larva that I've never seen in the state of Florida. So it's a special one to me. 
So guys, hope you like this video on the Vine Sphinx. Uh, it's an incredible bug. Uh, pretty tough to tell apart from some of its other eumorphous species, unless you really take a close look or you really know what you're looking for. Uh, and guys, if you ever see one of these, let me know. Because I would, if I am available, I would drive hours to come and find one and be able to photograph it and see the see the record. Uh, guys, send me pictures of things like this that you find. If you don't know what something is, please send me a photograph at uh, david at cuesmoth.com and I will help you identify your butterfly or moth species, okay? And so, uh, guys, hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check out the website, keysmoths.com. We've got all 600 moths of the Florida Keys documented there for you, for your viewing pleasure. So, uh, guys, like, subscribe, and share. Till next time, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Let's find some moths.